matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo today. I'll be showing the lightweight championship between Bruce and Evil Moment. I hope you guys will like it. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight he stands five feet seven inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of los angeles california usa presenting the challenger bruce the dragon lee And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Evo Way. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster, especially. But on one side, oh, look at this, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad perspective. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish can come at any time. A oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the turn. He's so accurate. When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Right hand punch for the clinch. Try to establish that jab. Oh, 
Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Another big leg kick lands. Oh, just misses with the kick. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back in range. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Shot there is blocked. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Real nice body to land. And they separate. Can't take many of those. Better check. Single collar tie there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. Under two minutes to go. Ninety seconds to go in our opening round. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under a minute now to go. Ground and pound strike is true. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Lee. Arch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. I mean, how many can he take? Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching Pretty Elkin, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. Oh, 
crippling knee to the body. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. like this that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now oh really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. all right he'll engage in a single collar tie he got the turtle in that kick just misses with the jab Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch land over the top. Nice one, two there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Standing pressure from top position here by Lee. Oh, and that one's got the head back. The referee has seen enough. Burst by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away.
All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's who you first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, presenting the challenger, Ibo Wei. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, fight. crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice strike. There's no tell on that leg kick. Able to land there with the straight left. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one home? Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landed his big body kick. Oh! Head kick! Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him chopping the wood. 
chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Beautiful body kick. Great punch. Right hand upstairs. Strong defense there to block the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Now connects with a right. Just misses with the jab there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses there with the left. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. He loaded up there on that high kick. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, oh. Oh. strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. There with that punch, to see. Big kick lands. Just missing on the counter there. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Back and forth we go. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with Whoa! Whoa! Shot right thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Landing with conviction now. How about those five minutes? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Go. Round two underway. Missed with that attempt. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna flip it on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. I 
Bobby, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Right hand upstairs. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. You don't know when that leg is coming. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Way to hide that leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done. We're off in the nut. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, oh, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Outstanding. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the corner. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He oh! Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. 30 seconds to go in round two. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Liver kick. What a the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent.
big liver kick lands under the elbow. Watch knees to the body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. This is it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Clipped him with the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Side leg kick. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice defense there. Huge block. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Real quick leg kick. Slips the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Missed with that right hand. Nice loop and punch. Nice one, two there. That was a thudding leg kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he... Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. You take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Nice punch there by Lee. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds left. Final seconds of round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
go, guys. Fight. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world.